Well, okay, here we are. Uh, this is my review of Dawn, a fan-made Before the Storm story. Now, uh, some of you are probably like, what the heck is that movie? Uh, don't you usually review movies that are, like, in theaters and are contending for Oscars and that stuff? Well, yeah, uh, I gotta be honest, it feels a little bit weird to be reviewing this movie, but it would feel a lot weirder if I didn't review it. So, I need to go into background, uh, for this. So, last year, uh, there was a fan film released on YouTube, uh, called, uh, What If? A Fan Made Life is Strange Story. I will put the link in the description. Uh, and it is a two-hour-long movie that is an adaptation of the video game Life is Strange. And it's not an official film. It was uh, fan-made. It was released on YouTube. It had a budget of about $500. And I watched it, and I just thought it was amazing. I, uh, Even though it's, it's obviously very cheap and uh, obviously, one could say, amateurish, uh, it's not... Like the, like the kind of professionally made movies that I usually watch and review, but I felt the need to review this one. I, I don't know why. I think initially it was just the fact that someone made a video game adaptation that was good. Um, and it was feature length, and it was uh, an adaptation of a story. Because as someone who I've always wanted to be a filmmaker, but I could never come up with original storytelling ideas, I always wanted to do adaptations. Uh, so I think... There was something in this film that was a bit of an awakening for me as a creator. And uh, then when they said, hey, we're going to do a, a film based on the prequel to Life is Strange, uh, Before the Storm, I uh, auditioned for it. I didn't get in. Uh, I wrote a review for the original What If, and I, uh, I let and I let made sure that the creators saw that review. I, on my old blog, uh, I'll probably put a link to that too. And also, I donated money. Uh, quite a bit of money to uh, this new film, Dawn, via Kickstarter. Or yeah, go, GoFundMe, I, one of those. I'm, I'm just flustered a bit because um, they saw like how much I was supporting uh, their films and their production company, and they were very grateful to me. And then uh, I started to get more and more involved with these guys, and I started to watch their monthly uh, live streams. Uh, and eventually I got to the point where I, they knew who I was, and long story short, when this movie premiered, I ended up driving 10 hours to uh, Iowa to see this movie uh, on the premiere and to meet them and their pictures. And I got props. I got like I got, I got special incentives because I donated. I got a copy of the script. I got a full poster that's signed. So in summary, I am hella biased towards this movie. I will just straight up admit that from the beginning. Um, these people, Shelby Davis, Carson T. Morrissey, uh, I know them, I've, I've taken photos of them, I, I, I've talked to them about my dreams of becoming a filmmaker, um, we don't know what's gonna happen, I, maybe there's a small chance we could end up collaborating on something in the future, I don't know, there's definitely a very big chance that they will end up watching this very review, which is what makes me so nervous, <laughs> because when the director of the movie is going to be watching the review, that means you can't say anything negative about the movie, pretty much. Um, I mean, I don't have that much negative to say anyway. Uh, I wouldn't have, but... What I have to say about this movie is mostly positive, with all that out. Um, so this is an adaptation of the game uh, Life is Strange Before the Storm, which, in my personal opinion, uh, is not as good as the original Life is Strange. Um, I thought that Before the Storm had some very good moments, uh, but it, it, the ending was kind of weak and it didn't all tie together. This, I feel, this movie does a good job at getting to the heart of all the good moments in Before the Storm and really fleshing them out. I mean, it's taking a six to seven hour game and making it into a two and a half hour movie, so obviously a lot is cut, but I feel that they kept most of the really important things. Um, as with the previous Life is Strange, they made Chloe a little bit more likable. Um, but one thing that's different here is... Uh, one thing that's different in this movie in particular is they... Um, it's a bigger budget. They went from a $500 budget to a $5,000 budget. And it shows. Um, 
the cinematography, the editing, the lighting, uh, it's the sound design, it's all clearly better. It's clearly more polished. Uh, I, I recommended the original film, What If, to uh, someone who is a critic, uh, and I asked him to review it, and their take on it was they liked the story, but they found it difficult to get into the film because of the low production value, and I can totally see that happening. But this one has a bit of a better production value. It is a longer film. It's two and a half hours, and I usually don't really like those films, but I really like what was done here. I felt that it, it it's long, but you want to stay with these characters and you want to get interested in the story. I arguably got a little bit more invested in the characters here than I did in Before the Storm, which might make this the best video game movie ever made. I, I don't know about that. The bar is not terribly high, but previously I thought What If held, held the mantle and now uh, Dawn might. I'm not 100% sure uh, which movie is better because I think I like the story in What If a little bit better, but Dawn definitely has the better production value. Um... If I had to nitpick anything, it would be uh, the ending. Both What If and Dawn have kind of a je ne sais quoi Return of the King to them, which is they have about three or four endings. Um, I don't mind it too much in What If because I like the note that they do end on. This ends on a note that's like, it's kind of weird given what everything else in the film was about, but I, I don't want to question that too much because, again, the director more than likely is watching this review, so... I don't know, it's, it's an epic, but I think the acting in this is very, very good. Uh, the acting in What If was, a uh, eh, I, I think Shelby was very good, and I think uh, the actor who played Nathan was very good, but a lot of the other performances were very hit and miss, and this feels a lot more natural. This feels like better acting, more emotional acting. I bought Peyton Knight and Cass McMullen as uh, Rachel, uh, uh, James Cody uh, as Damon, a very, very intimidating performance, which was funny because my mom and I, my mom attended the premiere with me, and she was closing her eyes during all of Damon's scenes. She's like, this guy is scary. Uh, this guy is going to give me nightmares. And then as soon as the movie was over, she's having a lengthy conversation with the actor who plays Damon. He's like, oh, how really? How was that? I was... So it's one of those surreal uh, experiences uh, that you don't get too often in your life. But, yeah, I, ha I have a lot to say. Uh, I, I, I don't want to go too much into it. As someone who is a big fan of Life is Strange, uh, the first game genuinely changed my life and changed the way I interact with other people. Uh, and it, it, it will forever hold a special place in my heart. Uh, and now we got this, which uh, might be... I think it might be better than the game, uh, Dawn. And that's a bit of a, a crazy thing to say, but I think Before the Storm had a lot of problems, and Dawn, it knew what to keep and what to and what to cut, very much like What If. Um, the editing, the, the costumes, it, it was it's all very, very well done. Maybe not quite to the level that you would see it in a theatrical film, but I'm definitely going to keep uh, an eye on Carson Timorsi. He's a director that I think a lot of people should be keeping an eye on. Because he said that he's going to move past this, uh, he's going to move past Life is Strange, which in a way is a shame because I'd really like to see how Carson's style would work with Sean and Daniel's story of Life is Strange 2, but uh, that game's not even out yet, so I mean, I mean, we only got the first episode, but I love the first episode so much, getting off topic. Um, he's going to do a lot of original content, and that makes me happy because... Uh, Previously, with his Life is Strange movies, can't really submit that into film festivals. And now, uh, he's going to do stuff that hopefully will get submitted into film festivals. And maybe one day he might make a film that gets released in theaters, or at least plays in L.A. for a week, or whatever the qualification is, to be one of those movies that is eligible for awards consideration. Because if that happens, I'm cheering for him all the way. I think he's a great director, and I, I'm really interested to see how things go for him. I swear I'm not just saying that because he's probably going to watch this. Oh my god, I sound like such a suck-up right now. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, I'm just... It's like I, I'm trying to be honest, but at the same time, I'm acknowledging the fact that he's going to see this. Um, or maybe he won't see this. I, I don't know. I. It's weird. I feel like when I went to that premiere, I felt like such a fanboy. Like, uh, oh my god, please notice me. Uh, senpai, notice me. <laughs> and then... Uh, 
when I met them, they just treated me like old friends. Like, I got to hug Carson, I got to hug Shelby. So, yeah, obviously I'm biased. So, but taking my own bias out of it, would you enjoy this movie? Um, yes. I think, uh, I don't think you need to know the story of Before the Storm, uh, or the story of What If. I think you can watch them both. I'll definitely include links to both. Uh, and, and definitely support this guy's future work, uh, because he's definitely going to need it. I don't know what his next project is going to be. Uh, I think he's going to start hyping the, this up in his next live stream. But uh, pay attention to this guy's work, and definitely pay attention to smaller films, even, even fan-based films that don't get theatrical releases, because it's young people like Carson, young filmmakers, that are the future of the filmmaking industry. Uh, and you never know where the next uh, big director might end up coming from. So definitely keep an eye on these smaller films and uh, on these fan films. And it's proof that good video, game movie, good video game movies do happen. I'll definitely have to talk about both What If and Dawn on For Pixels to Pictures. I'll try and get that series back eventually. But yeah, outside of that, there's not much else I can really say. Uh, very good film, very well made. Both of them are, are good. This is the Dawn is a little bit more well made. Check both of them out. Whether or not you're a fan of Life is Strange, it's funny. I my mom saw both films and she had not played the games. Obviously, uh, I, mean, I, I shouldn't say obviously, but she hadn't played the games. And it's interesting to see how she was able to connect with the characters on an emotional level despite never having played the games, and that's the mark of a good adaptation. So. Yeah, I'm curious to see what a lot of people in the audience, uh, if you haven't played Life is Strange or Before the Storm, I think I still think you can get into these fan films. And if you have, then you're definitely going to enjoy them. Like if you, if you're a fan of Life is Strange, then there's no question. You might be a little bit iffy on One If possibly, but I, if you love Before the Storm, I can't imagine you disliking uh, what you disliking Dawn. So yeah, that's my review. Uh, See you later. Bye.